are an experienced team, we work together, we know what each other's roles are, and we know what's expected of each other. Hi guys, this is Foxglove from Team Burn, and welcome to episode 2 of our call out video. Um, this is on the map Cargo. Now, Cargo for me is probably one of my all time favourite maps. Really, really like it. Love the dynamic, love the colours, love the fact that things move around, as you can see there. So, completely changes the map from time to time. And uh, it is just one of my, my all time favourite maps. So, here we go, starting. If you're spawning on the sea flag, you've obviously got sea spawn and sea flag. Da -da -da -da, and you've also got. Let's take an open route straight to B. So, two ways to B. One's up these stairs. Uh, so we would call this... Ooh... I don't know. Sea containers. Let's call it sea containers. Because uh, you, can, you can have a look over there. You can have a look over here. You've got eyes on that window. As you can see, things move about. So it's quite difficult because now you haven't got eyes on there. It's quite weird, isn't it? Yeah. This is uh, this is Triarch. And they just love putting things that move around in maps. Love it. Loved it from Black Ops 1. And uh, and loved it from Black Ops 2. So, um, you can jump off here. And you've got... Oh, I would call this B circle. So all around here is B circle. Now um, it is quite difficult sometimes to get the call out because, as you said, some of these things move. They're not always constant. They change colour. Um, I would just be very, very wary of this. So I, I would just call this B circle. So somewhere within this uh, within this circle. It's, it's a shame you can't be any more specific, really. So we'll have this call out here. So this is a nasty little glitching spot. Not really a glitching spot, but people can kind of come around here. Now you got to be careful you don't fall into the sea, but. Uh, you can get eyes on unsuspecting people coming around here, so I would call that, uh, I would call that White Office. Should we call that White Office? Yeah. Or just call it White, depends, uh, I think that's a good enough call out for that. Um, now you've got the, uh, the Porter Cabin through here, which is just a shortcut really, but to be fair, I don't think you really need a, a call out for it. Um, no, I think that's perfectly fine. A couple of head glitching spots around here. Uh, maybe, maybe it's call this... Do you know what it actually looks like? The, the package you get from Amazon. So I'm going to call this Amazon. So if you've got a head glitcher here or a head glitcher around this corner or this corner, we're going to call this Amazon. Okay? Um, There's lots of little places you can hide and get behind around here. It's it's, it's quite shocking really. So next call out will be uh, up here. And these are, I would say, primarily orange. So let's call this... Uh, don't know top orange yeah let's call this top orange so it's quite nasty place as well because again you've got eyes over there you've got eyes coming over the top there uh, the uh, the office buildings over there got eyes coming down all over the place so let's call it that now down here this is quite an important piece because this is the air spawn and you've also got the air flag just around the corner so the call out for this i think should be ambulance oh no it's not an ambulance it's a police i've never noticed that it's a port authority and I think that's only English I've seen. Most of it's in this weird Singaporean. Yeah. So, uh, let's call this... Uh, authority. Port Authority. Let's call it Authority. So, you've also got a way through here, which you can, uh, which is a bit of a nasty head glitch. So, again, this this would all be Authority through here. Okay? And then you get back down to, uh, to the air spawn and the air flag. Again, the call out for this would just be the air flag. Now, people don't realise this. You can actually get up here and... Uh, this is a really nice place for camping around the air flag. So I would call this top air. I think it's the only uh, heightened place in top air apart from that there. But again, I would call that uh, port authority authority. Okay. Coming around here, um, you've got forklifts. So again, forklifts for this. Um, you can actually get into this building and use the forklifts. And you've got uh, top B building now. <laughs> Do we like call the call out for top B building? Oh, shut off! That doesn't really work. Um, I would maybe call this vendors because there's two big vending machines here. One which looks like it disperses bullets, peach stuff with that looks like massive, huge bullets. So, yeah, um, either call this top B or um, or vendors or B officers. Probably going to be calling it vendors from now on because um, I think that's the only only one that's in there. So. Coming down this uh, this glitch here, because you've also got um, down here. So what we're going to call this? Let's call this paint. Yeah, let's call this paint. You've got two big columns of paint, and also I believe that's one of the hard point sites. 
Uh, might be also one of the demolition sites as well. So that's probably going to be a very important call out that one. So we'll call that paint. And then you're coming round the other side of the map. And I think down here we should... Do we need a call out for this? Oh, now we've got two port authorities here. I didn't think that. But we've also got a big number two on that building. What is that actually going to be called? Overhead clearing. Um, what should we call this? See, this is the problem with these maps from Treyarch. They, they do actually look kind of similar all the way around. So we're back to the... Uh, yeah, no, but we don't want to secure C, do we? So what could we call this area here? Um, these look like... Uh, con, don't they? So coming from paint... Mm, I would think that that was a quite an important call out, especially if you're camping around C or they're coming from this area. So, yeah, we'll, we'll call this aircon because this looks like air conditioning units and we've got gas stuff there. And, uh, yeah, this looks like air conditioning. So we'll call that aircon. Uh, you've got C officers, which is a, a nasty pointer uh, thing. You can also go through this. So, sorry, uh, yeah, C officers, have I got that wrong? My apologies. And uh, C truck, should we call that C truck? Yeah, C truck. So we'll quickly go around this again. So C truck. Um, up there. Up here, I should say, which I believe you can actually get up to this way. Yes, you can. Um, we've got top C, or we could call this uh, top blue actually, because most of the snipe, most of the pallets here are blue. So top blue, or and then you go down here, and we've got um, white officers. Amazon. Is both of these coming right behind here, and we've got port authority or authority up the top. This nasty glitching snipey spot over B is uh, top orange or orange sniper, whatever you want to be called, as long as you really use orange in there somewhere. Round the back of here, you've got top red or top A. You've got your air flag domination point. Again, make a full circle of the map just to uh, make use of it. So down here you've got paint. And you've got vendors. Down there obviously is just the B circle. Again, I can't really be any more familiar with that. You can maybe use it as a clock. But then, which way is 12? Uh, which way is north? It's it's quite difficult to uh, it's quite difficult for that call out. And then you're coming out of paint and vendors. And you're coming down this area which we, uh, which we called aircon. Aircon back onto the sea flag. So, um, again, this doesn't really go into the into the uh, nitty gritty of head glitching spots and power positions and all that kind of stuff. We'll be doing that in our how to, how to open series. But uh, these are the callouts that Team Burn use. I hope they've been really helpful for you guys. Um, by all means, you don't have to use them. Use your own. But it's uh, as as I said in episode one, it's really really important that you actually get your own callouts and. Um, some kind of communication going with your team. It will win you more matches, I promise you. If there's one thing I can promise you that will improve team gameplay is, you know, you don't need to get a 360, 720, whatever headset. You don't have to get a, an internet connection that will rival what God has. I mean, those things do help, but don't get us wrong. But the, I think the one thing that's really going to help you is put a mic on. Get, get yourself a cheap £10 Bluetooth microphone from Carphone Warehouse or from Argos or wherever and just put it on. You charge it up, put it on, and start these call-outs, you know what I mean? Straight away, I can, if we start at the C flag, I can be saying, right, you know, I want four people to go to B, and I want two people to flank round through uh, through paint. And then straight away, we know what's happening. We know where people are going. We're not all going to B. We're not all going to A. We're not all skipping our home flag. It's really, really important that you do that, guys. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, episode three should be up very, very shortly. Thank you very much.